Hey there, my friend. My name is Jacob DeBoer. I help small businesses rank their websites higher and generate their own leads and get their phones ringing off the hook. Uh, if you're seeing this video, chances are you're looking to Dex Media. Maybe you've heard of them uh, from a friend or a colleague, and you're just looking for some more information, some reviews uh, before you decide to invest with their services. Uh, I know of people personally that love Dex. I know of many folks, however, that have had kind of shady dealings with them. Um, I want to show you uh, some of the complaints here. This is from Consumer Affairs. Uh, Shelly here says, for my second month in a row, my bank account's been charged $7.75 on, a, on, a, on an ended contract, basically, uh, from October. Um, uh, who is this? Leslie here. Um, I wish I'd read these reviews before I got signed up with them. I'm having the same experiences. Um, I've been with Dex for years now, but Dex has completely gone downhill. My new rep lied and argued with me. Never met a person so unprofessional. I'm disappointed. Thought the Dex media was monitoring my online presence. Uh, interesting to discover that there are wrong phone numbers for all three locations on both Yellow Pages Online and Bing, paying over $800 for what now love it or hate it a lot of these reviews i mean they can speak volumes for uh, the quality of service you're going to get with dex but i want to kind of turn a corner here and i want you to think about what if there was a better way to generate leads for your business what if you could start generating your own leads for your business i want to talk to you for a moment about your ideal prospects and where they're hiding okay um, and I want to show you here a, a couple things you can do for your business uh, that are gonna that is gonna really increase your results okay instead of competing with tons of other uh, businesses that are in the same niche in the same area as you are instead of chasing around tire kickers what if you could position yourself and your business in a way that you got in front of your ideal prospects every time they searched for you on Google. Okay, This is what I help educate small business owners on how to do and how to rank their businesses higher and how to get their phones ringing off the hooks. And I want to show you three very specific things you can do right now to start getting more leads with your website and getting more phone calls out of Google. Okay, uh, Let's say, for example, you own a, uh, a cleaning service. Okay, Let's just say uh, Houston, Texas. Okay. Now, more times than not, more often than not, when I speak to uh, a small business owner, much like yourself, I ask them, where do you think all your prospects, where their eyeballs go, right? Now, you may have invested uh, $1,000, maybe tens of thousands of dollars in Google AdWords before, right? Advertising. But the truth is, most people scroll right past these three ads. In fact, only 7%, only 7% of people click on these ads. So if you check this out and you're one of these three, you're only getting a third of 7% of searches. Okay. But if we scroll down here, almost 60% of folks, they go for, they call this the Google map pack. Okay. The top three businesses are listed on Google. Now, a lot of times uh, when I'm talking with uh, a small business owner, they say, okay, I've got to be number one in the map pack. But the truth of the matter is that's not always the case, okay? I want to show you one thing you can do right now to your website uh, that 97% 90, of your competition isn't doing. Uh, it's very simple, and it's going to actually increase your phone call ratios, uh, meaning uh, when somebody visits your site, they're going to be more apt to click on uh, what I'm about to show you here and, and pick up the phone and give you a call. So I'm going to open up a couple of these uh, websites here just to show you what I mean. Now, if we take a look at these websites, um, I mean, they're not the prettiest looking things. Uh, but according to Search Engine Land here, nearly 60% of searches now come from mobile devices. So something you must do to your website is to add a click to call button, uh, similar like they have on their website here. Now, it doesn't say click to call, but it does have a link. Now, if someone is on their mobile phone or their mobile device and they tap that link, it's actually going to call you. It's going to call your business. Here's an example of not 
what to do now. If you're revived and you're watching this, I'm sorry, I don't want to pick on you. Um, but you can see here, there's no there's no spot where you can click to call them. Okay, they're losing valuable phone calls. Another thing I noticed about their site um, is it's not the prettiest thing in the world. But you'll notice at the bottom here, and this is just a general rule of thumb, uh, they have a testimonial, but I know that this is, uh, I've seen this guy on uh, Fiverr before. So what they may have done, or maybe someone that had built this website for them, was they, they purchased kind of like a, a, a fake testimonial, okay? Now, that's really, really bad for your brand, okay? Um, a, a lot of times... Uh, I, you know, folks I've worked with, I talk to them and it's, they, you know, they buy 10,000 backlinks or they buy these reviews off of, you know, Fiverr or, or something like that. And that's really, really bad for business. And Google's getting smart about that. They can actually penalize your website. So that's one thing you can do right now uh, to increase your phone calls is make sure you have a, a way for your customers, people that are on your site, to click to call you, okay? Another thing I want to show you, uh, check this out. Let's say, um, let's say you own a service. Uh, I mentioned earlier that 59, uh, almost 60% of people, uh, they scroll right past these ads uh, and they go to uh, what we call the Google Map Pack, right? Now, here's something really bad, okay? First of all, make sure you have a website, right? Uh, Moore's here, they don't even have a website. Um, but something I wanna point out is that 82% of the people that click on the map pack, 82% of them will end up going with the business that has the highest rated reviews. So if you check this out right here, Liberty Towing Surf Service is sucking up 82% of the people uh, that click on, on the map pack simply because they have higher quality reviews. I mean, look at that. Out of those three, if you need a towing service, a towing company, who are you going to go with? Okay. In fact, again, Search Engine Land says 88% of consumers trust online reviews as much as personal recommendations. Okay. So it's super, super crucial to your business to make sure, uh, A, that you have Google reviews, and B, that you become the highest recommended business on the Google Map Pack. Uh, another thing I want to show you is um, something that Google added. Actually, we all kind of joke about it. Um, Mobile Geddon. Okay. Google now more than ever uh, wants your website to be mobile responsive, mobile friendly. What that means is it looks nice on um, uh, phones, it looks nice on tablets and the computer. Okay. I want to show you an example of that. But before I do, I want to actually show you here, uh, this is from Mobile Market Engine. Uh, Google is actually going to punish your website, meaning you're not going to rank as high on Google if you don't have a mobile-friendly website. So let me show you an example of that. Um, let's say, uh, let's say you own a limo service. Uh, let's just say Salem. Okay, now let me uh, let's see if we can find an example here of a responsive website. Okay, here's an example of a website that's mobile friendly. Again, it's not the prettiest website in the world, but you'll notice that if we resize the window here, you'll notice that it changes, right? Let's pull that in a little bit so you can see it a little better. See that how it kind of stretches to fit this fit the screen, okay. Um, however, if we click on this website here, check out what happens. Look at that. So this would be an example of a website that is not mobile friendly. It's not responsive, and Google is actually penalizing their website for this. Um, they're actually kind of giving them down votes, the thumbs down, uh, and telling their website not to rank as high. So those are three things you can do right now to start getting uh, better results, more phone calls. Um, make sure that you're the highest reviewed business in the Google Map Pack. Make sure that you have a click to call button on your website. And then also make sure that your website is mobile responsive. Now, if you need help with any of that, I'll leave my phone number uh, either in the description or on this video somewhere. 
However, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that if you stuck around to the very end, I was going to show you specifically what you can do to get your website to um, rank number one in Google, how to get more calls, get your phones ringing off the hook, and how to start generating your own leads so that you don't have to chase around tire kickers and, and compete with other people in your area. I actually want to show you how when someone searches for your product or service, you can become number one, okay? You can become number one right here in the search engines. that We call these the organic listings, number one in the map packs, and the highest reviewed, and start beating out your competition instead of sending your potential customers to your competition. You can actually start capitalizing on these folks because they're going to actually pick up the phone and call you first and click on your website first. So in the description, I've got a link. You can actually go there now and click on that. Uh, and I want to show you, um, take you over to our site here. This is this is what we do. But on our site, um, there's a, a little button here where you can get a free performance report. Otherwise, if you hover over our services and click on free site analysis, it's going to bring you to this page right here. Now, I'm going to be up front with you. We're not going to, um, you're not going to get any phone calls from us, um, you know, no salesman or anything like that. We only actually we only work with a select um, a very specific uh, type of small business owner so you may not even qualify uh, to work with us. But what I want to provide for you is a website analysis for free. Okay, uh, You just simply punch in your web address, name of your business, uh, your information here. Click scan my website and send the report. And what that's going to do is we're going to create a report for you so that we can coach you specifically on what you need to do to begin ranking uh, number one in the search engines uh, and some things in addition to what we already talked about that you can implement into your marketing strategy so that you become the most recommended business in the marketplace in your area. Okay, we've got, um, you'll see on our website that we actually uh, kind of put our money where our mouth is. We actually get results for local business owners, much like yourself. Um, and like I said, I, I want to provide for you just for sticking around to the end of this video, uh, a free, uh, free report, a free web analysis of your website so that you can at least, you know, take this if, you know, maybe you already have a webmaster. You can take this report to them and say, you know, hey, look, I just got this report. This is exactly what we need to do to start climbing the ranks in Google um, and start generating more calls and generating our old leads, that kind of a thing. Um, if you have any questions for me at all, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Or like I said, I'll leave my phone number. Um, otherwise, uh, once you do... Uh, request a free website analysis, you will have my contact information as well. So hopefully you found this video informative. Hopefully you have a few things you took, can take away from this to you know, help your business revenue, help your business grow. Um, and again, really, once you start generating your own leads, you know, from Google and uh, your ideal prospects when they start searching for your business, when you can start generating your own leads instead of, instead of having to um, pay for all these other services, your in uh, your conversions increase, um, your confidence increases, uh, and then plus it's a, it's just a really great uh, way to do business because people know that when they punch in you know your product or service boom, they've got a snapshot of your business and who you are and what you can provide for them. So uh, go ahead and click that link now, uh, request a free website analysis uh, so that you can learn more specifically what you can do to rank your site. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to like this video and then leave me your thoughts in the comment area below. I'll catch you in the next video.